Welcome back to the Hellenic Hour here on 3XY Radio Elas. Our second guest today is uh, also a very good friend, uh, Harry Katsabanis, who uh, actually represents uh, a group of uh, uh, taxi company owners. Uh, his company, Harry's company, is Taxi Link. And also we have the Ambassador uh, Taxis and also Cabway and collectively the owners of these three uh, um, organisations own 505 taxis in Victoria and uh, employ 2,500 uh, taxi drivers. I welcome to uh, the Hellenic Hour, um, Harry Katsiaban is Harry. We've spoken before. Welcome to 3XY and the English show here, the Hellenic Hour. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity. Well, Harry, we've heard so much uh, in the uh, press uh, the last, uh, well, I think it's been a few months now, in regards to some uh, proposed changes, uh, and especially headed by Professor Fells. Um, of course, uh, now it's getting closer to the crunch, and the changes obviously are of big concern to the taxi industry in general. Yes, Ross, uh, just to summarise... Yes, please the changes that the government has adopted. The government will be leasing licenses to applicants from the 1st of July 2014 for $22,000 per year indexed at inflation at CPI minus 0.5%. That's the first major recommendation. Now that, uh, from what I understand, uh, it used to be uh, 30,000, correct? That's correct. So we go from 30 to 22, which obviously will have a major impact on, you know, on everybody of values, rentals, the industry, sustainability and, you know, greater impact rather than just values. I think you'll find the impact will be devastating for the industry. Okay. Uh, Ross, the professor and the government talk about customer service and customers first. We as operators and through tax industry stakeholders Victoria submitted uh, many thousands of dollars worth of proposals prepared by economists, prepared by uh, uh, Deloitte Access Economics and various other professionals to provide solutions for a sustainable industry. Unfortunately, the government and the minister have not listened to reason nor have they listened to common sense, and they've adopted the economic rationalism of Alan Fells, which uh, brings back the state of Victoria, I would say, to communism. That's the only term that I can think of at the moment. It'll devastate hardworking Victorians that have worked all their lives, that have slaved in the taxi industry, driving 60, 70 and 80 hours a week. They've missed their children growing up. They've missed birthday parties. They've missed many many things to create sacrifices to help their family they're now self-funded retirees ross yep. and the government has just given them a slap in the face and has said bad luck we're going to send you broke and that's what they've done well look uh let's expand on that Th those were pretty heavy statements there uh, uh, harry but um uh, l let's talk about it now uh, a little bit in, in detail here so we're talking about the licenses uh, uh, coming down from 30 to 22 correct that's one area. Correct. Okay. The, bigger, the biggest concern, Ross... What is the biggest concern the biggest here, concern, please? The government has now, and it is currently... The government is currently the largest owner of taxi licences. But the government has now said they're going to create an unlimited release of licences, which means from the 1st of July 2014, anyone can go and lease one of these licences. So what that means for drivers, and this is what the focus is on drivers, the driver that's earning 10 and 12 and 15 dollars an hour currently will earn three four and five dollars an hour in the future because the market will be saturated by these licenses so are you saying that uh, um, there'll be more taxis on the road and, Absolutely, and there'll be more taxis on the road and professor fowles himself has in his report clearly shows we have an oversupply of taxis and the only time we have an undersupply is Friday and Saturday night between the hours of 12 and 2. So what they're doing now is they're allowing all these additional licenses to flood the streets to cover those two hours of peak that public service hasn't been able to, um, to accommodate. And there has been some talk of these, uh, of, uh, during these peak hours that the, uh, the price uh, of, uh, of uh, using a taxi will go up as well. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. And, you know, that'll be even more confusing. 
uh, what time of the day is it, how much you're paying, is it up, is it down. There, there's no certainty. People need certainty. And um, the government has failed in its approach to deliver certainty. Um, the other area that we uh, heard uh, talked about is uh, in regards to having taxi drivers uh, more professional, perhaps knowing where they're going, whereas uh, a lot of them in the past haven't been trained properly. Now, I know for a fact that uh, the three companies that I mentioned before, Taxi Link, Ambassador and Cabway, uh, there was a huge uh, campaign here on 3XY which sparked off a bit of action from Greece as well in regards to uh, um, you providing um, the um, the costs of uh, of uh, training taxi drivers and and uh, covering the costs uh, to uh, create some action because you were finding it hard to find taxi drivers, correct? Yes, yes, Ross. We we struggled very badly to fill the uh, labour shortage. We looked at all areas. We looked at Greece. We looked locally. We created the Australian Taxi Academy. We employed the best possible trainers. And we have delivered, in our, in our opinion, very, very well-qualified drivers that know their way around Melbourne and provide an exceptional service. And, uh, um, Harry, where do we go from here is the next question. Um, obviously, uh, I heard uh, this morning, actually, on 3XY, that there is a meeting being uh, organised this weekend, I think. Yes, there's a meeting uh, being called at Dallas Brooks Hall this Saturday, the 30th, at 1pm. We're inviting all taxi stakeholders, drivers, operators, license holders and the public to attend so we can uh, deliver them clearly what the government is proposing and then look at the measures and steps that are ahead of us to uh, combat this you know, in- in- inequality that exists. Um, Harry, can I ask the other question? Uh, I did hear or I read, I think, that... Um the breakup uh, of a taxi driver they're asking now for the taxi driver to share to have a profit share situation is that right and it goes from uh, i think it was from 50 percent to 55 or something like is that right yeah that, that, that's correct ross do you agree with that do you think yes, that's a positive I'm thing all, i'm all for drivers making more money uh we need to cost it in the fare model and it has to be sustainable for drivers and for operators and for the entire industry i think that's critical and I don't believe the government has costed it. Okay. And the other question, if I may ask, is to, to hold a license or to own a license, a, a, a taxi, what what uh, sort of uh, amount are we talking about? So to buy a license? To buy a license, yes. Well, and to run a taxi as an owner. Run a taxi? Yes. Uh, as an operator, you, you need to allow $1,250 to $1,400 a week to run a taxi. Okay, so they're pretty high high fees to say, high expenses to say the least. So they are. You got to remember the vehicles on the road 24/7. Your fuels charges, your registrations two thousand six hundred dollars. Your insurance is three and a half thousand dollars. Your work cover, you know, all these uh, variables add up, and the industry is on its knees at the moment. Okay, well, Harry, I don't know if you want to add uh, anything further. To our conversation. Well, the, only, the only thing I'd like to say, Ross, is to our Greek community for, you know, the Greeks that are retired, that uh, rely on this income to support themselves, I would urge them to go and see their members of parliament. I would urge their family members to go and see their members of parliament and explain the implications. Mm. And uh, just, you know, come and come to the meeting and, and see what we can collectively do together as an industry, because we all want to deliver a world-class service to Victorians. Fantastic. Well, Harry, thank you very much for talking to us on the Hellenic Hour. Appreciate and uh, I wish, uh, wish you every success uh, with the endeavours on the weekend. Thank you, Ross. Thank you again. Thank you. And that was uh, Harry Katsabanis, the owner of Taxi Link. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, Taxi Link, Ambassador and Cabways are all Greek uh, owned by very dear friends here of 3XY as well. And they represent 505 taxis in Victoria and uh, employ two and a half thousand uh, taxi drivers. So a lot of things happening in the taxi industry. We'll be back shortly here on the Hellenic Hour.